guys. So, I mean, the sauna was pretty fun. Um, I don't know if you guys see my hair. My hair still looks really good. All I gotta do is gel this part down a little bit because it's a little bit curling up. Other than that, like, I look great. I'm having fun. This is day two. Um, so, I'm happy. I'm excited. Um, I feel like the main lesson that I've been learning on this retreat journey is that um, you just got to keep moving forward and keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's good for you. I love the fact that um, I'm taking this time out to just rest because I'm always working. I'm always doing something. Like, I never have a chance to just sit down and do nothing, just think, just like meditate and just focus on what I want to do next or not even what I want to do next, just chill. Like, I'm always thinking about the next move, what's, what's next, what's next. Sometimes you just got to think about what's happening right now and just bask in it and enjoy it. I mean, being present is a present in itself so i feel like i just have to really bask in that really focus really like chill out yeah i'm really hard on myself so that's not good but it's a blessing and a curse because if you're not hard on yourself you don't do what you need to do but if you're not hard on yourself you have more leeway to do what you need to do and it's like when you're hard on yourself you're just criticizing yourself when you don't need to criticize yourself people don't even need to criticize you more so why should you criticize yourself you should yes you should always be your biggest critic you should always know what's right what's wrong and what you can do to fix it but you shouldn't sit there and be like criticizing yourself putting yourself down having self-doubt self lack of self-love and stuff like that so um yeah so um i'm definitely enjoying myself um number one thing i've learned in the past couple weeks is that consistency is key and I feel like if you're consistent and you keep moving forward keep moving forward don't give up whatever you do don't give up especially if it's something positive and it's good for you and your community and people around you and it's the right way to make money don't give up because one day you will get it like that's one thing about me, whenever I put my mind to something or whenever I want something, I get it. And it's not just because I'm a child of God or just because I'm chosen or because God answers my prayers. That's one aspect of it. And of course, I thank God for that as well. But it's also just a principle that I feel like everyone should have. Just be consistent and keep going you will always get you will always get what you want you just have to keep pushing forward and keep on focusing on yourself and God and eventually you will get what you want it just takes time perseverance self love self care self respect and then things start to fall into place. Every dream that I've ever had, they come to pass one way or another. But what I've learned is that they only come to pass if you believe. I know people will say, oh, that's so corny or that's so cliche, but it's the truth. Like, if you don't believe, your dreams won't come true. If you don't believe your dreams will come true, then it won't happen. You have to believe. 
you have to believe you have to believe that you'll see what you want and then you have to work towards it that's another thing because you can have good faith you can have a lot of faith but if you don't work towards it it's not gonna be easy to get always work towards it always try your best to like okay this is how i envision it this is how i want it what can i do to get closer to that goal what can i do to be the person that i need to be because you remember everything causes transformation in your life every time you're learning something every time you're doing something every time you're researching something you're growing in knowledge you're growing in wisdom so every time you learn about different things you're turning into a whole different person so you have to ask god and um, this is applying to me too this is a prayer for me as well and god's with me so i know you have to ask god can you please transform me into the person that i need to be to not only get these blessings but to maintain and keep them well that, that's a that's a prayer i've always said and I've always thought of, and I always pray that all the time. And I'm praying it right now, God, make me the person that I need to be to not only have my blessings, but to keep them. Because yes, you can have a blessing, you can get a car, you can have a blessing, you can get a house. But if you don't know how to maintain and keep it, you can lose it or it can lose its value. So I just pray that I have enough energy, enough guidance enough persistence enough substance to keep these blessings once i get them and i pray that nothing or no one can stand in the way of that in jesus name amen so now i'm i'm happy i'm in the sauna and i feel like you just gotta like really focus like it's not easy, especially when you come in, uh, when you're growing up in an environment where you're growing up in an environment that it says, oh, well, work a regular nine to five, work regular this, regular that, or you do little gigs here and there and that's it. No, there's more to life than that. There's more to life than that. And I know that there is, um, if you're around the right people, and most importantly, God, he will reveal these blessings to you. He will reveal different ways of income and how you can take whatever you're strong at and make money off of it. Like I have so many different good attributes about myself that I can use not only for God's glory, but for my story, for my, um, for my benefit and also to make income for my children and my children's children and onward, excuse me. So. I have all these good attributes, I have all these good skills, all these good qualities. So I know eventually I will be able to get what I want. It just takes time. It takes patience. That's another thing. Oh, that's another thing. Patience. Um, that's a fruit of the Spirit, a fruit of the Holy Spirit. You have to have patience. When you have patience, you get what you want. It just takes time. And it's just like, sometimes you're just so impatient. Like, I'm one thing about me, like, I, it's not that I'm impatient. I'm just tired of waiting. And it's not that I'm tired of waiting. It's just like, I kind of want it instantly. But my God, the God that I serve, gives everything in its time. Because not only is that the best way to do it, it's the best way to keep it. If you rush the process if you try to rush the process it won't work or it won't be as effective as it should be but if you take your time and focus and relax and ease your way into what you're doing eventually you will get what you want it just takes time so Let me open the door a little bit just to let that okay well look this is for any young girl even guys this is a place to anyone who has a dream and wants it to get done 
stay focused be patient because you can't sit there and just do all this work and then give up at the last second don't give up you do all this work you do all this effort you learn all this knowledge finish what god started finish what you started finish what god has planned for your life it even says in the bible that god will finish the work that he starts in your life so you just have to trust and believe that it will be finished if you're able to get all these little things these tiny things that don't really mean anything unless it means something to you what makes you think he won't give you bigger what makes you think he won't give you more especially when it's the right time and when you're ready for it so i encourage everyone that's watching this including myself this is a, this is for, this is really a, a pep talk to a pep talk to myself but i wanted to put this on my youtube because i know eventually i will look back at this video and i'll be grateful that i didn't give up i'll be grateful that i didn't stop what i was trying to do what god told me i should do so this is me talking to my future my past and my present self and of course everyone watching this video don't give up be patient because patience is key you can be walking into a blessing and you don't even know it but because you're so impatient you're squandering the blessing you're making it harder for you to really receive it and really like enjoy it because you're impatient because you're so used to things going wrong you don't realize that things are starting to go right and it, things the fruits of your, the fruits of your labor are starting to pay off but you have to really focus and you have to really try your best to keep moving forward it doesn't matter what it looks like it's about which this is the thing i, I even saw it on a video i forgot which video it was the world says i'll see it then i'll believe it but god says you gotta see it before you believe it you gotta you gotta believe it before you see it that's what god says you have to believe it see it in your mind see it in your heart give it to god and then you'll see it but the world says see it and then i'll believe it you know so it's always backwards Whatever the truth is, it's always backwards. Like, it's whatever is in the world, it's always backwards compared to what the truth is. And the truth will set you free. So I just encourage you guys to get closer to Jesus Christ. Um, stay focused. Stay motivated. Especially if it's a good field that you're going into. Especially if it's a good thing that's going to help out other people. Keep focusing on yourself keep growing keep stepping out on faith because it will pay off one day might not be today might not be tomorrow but one day you're gonna turn back you're gonna look back you're gonna see all the times you were struggling and no one helped you all the times you were working hard and you felt like you couldn't make it and you're gonna look back and you're going to be grateful that you did it. So I encourage you today, just stay focused and do what you need to do. God is good. He's always look out for you. Even in the times you feel like you won't make it or you're not okay or things don't work out the way you want them to, it's always for a reason and god will give you better like there's prayers that i there were simple prayers they weren't even like very serious like they were really simple prayers they were like oh i want a plum oh i want some um this particular juice in my fridge i want this particular food in my fridge i want this type of stuff and when i tell you god answered my prayers and it was an overflow it was an overflow and I ended up getting everything I wanted. And it was just the small things. It wasn't even the big things yet. 
So I can't even imagine how good the big things are going to be. I'm so excited for what life has in store for me. I'm so excited to see what life has in store for me. And I feel like... I feel like... You know, the thing is... Um, we sit here and we, we, we think that things aren't going to get better and it's like a little rough but it's not that bad like it's really not that bad like sometimes you just gotta like focus and really like move forward with what you gotta do and um yeah so it's been 15 minutes i'm gonna stay in here for half an hour until it's time for my massage um yeah I feel really happy I feel really blessed I mean I have every single thing that my heart desires right now but that doesn't mean I won't get it later you have to be grateful and satisfied with what you have for you to get more that's another thing I learned when you're grateful for what you have, when you're grateful for the little plum that you got that God answered your prayer for, when you're grateful for the juice that is in your fridge that you wanted, then God will say, you know what, good job. You're grateful for the little things, now you're going to get bigger. So, just got to keep moving forward. There were times in my life where I almost died multiple times. And that's how I knew God was with me because only God can spare for someone's life. Only God. We can try to, we can do preventative care, which is important. Preventing things, eating the right things and exercising and really drinking the right things that you need. And that will help you be okay in the meantime but also prayer and really just like trying to focus on God that is what you need because at the end of the day you you're only VIP if God says you're VIP you're only VIP if God says you're VIP. And once you're on the list, the Lamb, Book of Life, you are officially a VIP because you're getting into heaven. Why try to sit in regular VIP when you can be in the real VIP? You know what I mean? Um, that's why when people try to mock me or reject me or criticize me, I just let it brush off shake it off don't let it affect me because i know at the end of the day when people reject me and people and things try to discourage me god is always there re-encouraging me god is always there saying you know what you are my you're my daughter you're my son you are a part of me i love you no matter what and that's the main Thing that you guys have to focus on so I'm gonna pray this is a prayer another prayer there's there was another one earlier about being consistent but this one this prayer is to be saved to make sure that we all make it into heaven so father God I thank you for this day I thank you for Jesus Christ died on the cross your son and I'm thankful that he rose up again on the third day. I pray that everyone that watches this video asks to be saved by your son, Jesus Christ, so that way they can get their name in the Lamb's Book of Life and go into heaven. I believe your son died, and on the third day he rose again with the keys to death and hell. And he has saved us. So I pray this in Jesus Christ's mighty and matchless and precious name. 
And I plead the blood of Jesus over this prayer. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Now if you just heard that prayer, you're saved. Because all you have to do is believe that the sacrifice that God gave with his only begotten son is able to help you out. Able to get you saved. And you have to say it with all your heart too. Don't say it just because you're saying it. Say it because you believe it. God will change your life. It takes time. And sometimes the devil will try to discourage you. He will. Because he doesn't want you to make it into heaven. He wants you to be in hell with him. But the devil has no power over God's power. God created the devil. So he knows how to stop him. Matter of fact, there's a story. Um, um, this lady said she wanted groceries, right? And she didn't have the money for it. So she said, God, she asked Jesus Christ, hey, I need groceries. I don't know how I'm going to get it. Then a man that serves the devil was trying to um, mock her and brought a bunch of groceries to her, her front door and left the groceries there and said, the devil brought you this. You know what the lady said? The lady said, even the devil has to ask God permission before he does something. God has to send the devil to do anything because God is in charge. So you can mock me all you want. You can talk about me all you want. At the end of the day, God is in charge and God always wins. God will use the devil to bless you. He'll take whatever blessings that the devil stole from you and give it right back to you ten times full. Because guess what? God is in charge. He's the one that created the devil. So how do you expect him to lose to him? He can't. He has more power. He thought of the idea of him before he was even made. So you can't. Can't try to say that might be rough might be a little bit of stagnation but at the end of the day you're gonna get exactly what you wanted especially if it's according to God's will and purpose for your life so I just want to thank God for his everlasting power and glory over my life his everlasting protection because back in November I don't know if you there's a video where I said I'll turn my hair into a silk press the day after I went to open mic and someone almost shot me. This is my testimony. God saved my life. The enemy tried to take me out right in front of everyone. But guess what? The power of God wouldn't let him. The guy that came, I don't know if it was a setup. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call God, call God. I'm gonna pray to God and I'm gonna ask him, hey, who sent that guy because I don't know if it was just him being bitter because he didn't win the two hundred dollars it's two hundred dollars a two hundred dollar check is a one day at work at a minimum wage job but whatever the winning was two hundred dollars and it was um, a placement in a concert with other artists I was going to win I was going to win but the devil was so mad. The demon inside of that boy was so mad that it wasn't him or was it anyone else because I'm God's child. So he came and he had a fully loaded gun. He said, I'm gonna, gonna shoot you. I want the mic, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, pride. Once again, the same sin that got the devil into hell, pride. So he tried to snatch the mic out of my hand. Of course I unplugged the mic because you can't just take the mic out of my hand and think you're gonna talk into it, especially when I was the one speaking in it first. So I unplugged the mic. Then tried to 
bitch was trying to shoot me but when he was trying first off when he was fixing the gun he was trembling trembling because the power of god is over my life then after that when he was looking at me he couldn't move the gun up to shoot me he couldn't move it my guardian angels and jesus christ and the holy spirit and the abba father they were there because I was preaching the gospel. And before he could even reach his gun to pull it up, his hand couldn't move. Of course, the whole crowd was scared, so they started running away. But I was never scared because I knew that wasn't the day I was going to die. I knew God had a plan over my life and I was going to win. Not just the competition, but in life and he looked at me he was trying to shoot me he couldn't shoot me he was trying to get me scared and vulnerable I looked at him like the little punk he was stared at him straight in his eyes I have no fear of you no fear the only person I fear is Jesus Christ because he can tell you he can tell the devil when or when not to mess with me so I ain't scared of you what am I going to be scared of you for? You're just a pawn. I'm the queen. Most valuable piece. So, and the piece that has the most moves. So you can try, but you will not succeed. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And everything that's written in the Bible is true. So, It's been almost 30 minutes. I'm going to turn this off. But my last thing I want to say is that God loves you and I love you. And we're going to make it. It might be a little rough, but we're going to make it. And when we do, I'm going to give all the glory to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Because he deserves it. Definitely deserves it. Definitely worthy. Most loyal person on my team. Humans will flake. Men will flake, women will flake, but God is faithful and he shows that time and time and time and time and time and time and time again and time again, he shows that he's faithful. So I just want to thank God for what he's doing in my life, what he's done. And I just want to bless him and thank him. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video, hearing my testimony, hearing the prayers that are incorporated in this time I'm in the sauna, just chilling. And I pray that next time you see like my YouTube, I'm in a better place financially, spiritually, mentally, physically. By the time you watch this video, I have another testimony to share that I'm not sharing right now because it's a secret. But once I get it, it's gonna be great so I just want to thank you once again for watching Jesus loves you I love you I gotta go I got stuff to do God bless you